You've seen rivers your whole life, but there's one thing you've probably never noticed, a hidden pattern, a secret written by nature herself. Something so subtle, only gem hunters and geologists truly understand it. A single curve, a single bend in a river, could hold more treasure than any chest of gold. Because not all river bends are the same. Some are natural vaults built over thousands of years, quietly collecting gemstones, gold and minerals that the world walks past every day. So if you ever see a river bend that looks like this, stop. Don't take another step, because beneath that calm water, precious stones could be waiting, and you'd never know unless you look closer. Here are 10 real gemstones that can be found in riverbeds around the world. One, sapphire. Yes, sapphires can be found in rivers, and they're among the most valuable. When volcanic or metamorphic rocks break down, sapphires are freed and carried downstream. These heavy blue stones settle deep in gravel beds, behind boulders, or along river bends. Raw river sapphires can sell for $50 to $500 per carat, but clean gem-quality stones often reach $2,000 per carat or higher. And the best part? Nature already polished them for you. Gemstones found in rivers are called alluvial gems, while those dug straight from underground rock are primary gems. Alluvial gems are nature's hand-picked selection, rounded, polished, and cleaned by centuries of water. They're usually smaller, but have fewer flaws and stronger luster. Primary gems mined directly from rock are raw and jagged, often larger but with more inclusions or internal cracks. Take sapphires, for example. A small, clear river sapphire might sell for $1,500 per carat, while a larger rough mine sapphire from the same region could sell for $800 per carat, simply because the river gem looks cleaner and needs less cutting. With rubies, it's the opposite. Most river rubies are tiny, under one carat, while primary rubies from marble layers in Burma or Mozambique can reach $10,000 per carat or more. 2. Garnet Look for deep red sparkles in the sand, especially in dark, heavy gravels along river bends. Garnets are dense, so they naturally sink to the bottom of slow-moving sections of rivers. They are often found behind boulders, in crevices, or where currents slow down forming natural pockets. A well-formed river garnet can fetch anywhere from $5 to $80 per carat, and gem-grade pieces, the kind used in jewelry, can sell for hundreds. Rivers polish garnets naturally, giving them a glossy, ready-to-cut surface. 3. Quartz clear, milky, or smoky. Quartz is the silent traveler of rivers. It resists weathering, allowing it to survive long journeys from volcanic or metamorphic rocks to riverbeds. Look for quartz in shallow riffles, gravel bars, and river bends where the current slows and heavier stones settle. Clear quartz glints like glass in sunlight. Smoky quartz shows subtle brown-gray tones, and milky quartz has soft cloud-like patterns. High-quality crystal quartz or small clusters can sell for $20 to $100 per carat, depending on clarity and size. Quartz also signals the presence of other gems, making it a useful guide for treasure hunters. 4. Spinel bright red or pink stones, often confused with rubies. Spinel tends to accumulate in riverbeds with high mineral content, particularly in areas downstream from metamorphic rocks. Water-worn spinels can reach $200 per carat and fine. Pure red specimens can sell for $800 or more. 5. Topaz One of the hardest river gems, often colorless or honey yellow. Topaz survives long transport in fast-flowing streams, eventually settling in heavier gravel near bends or behind rocks. Rough river topaz stones can sell for $25 to $100 per carat, and faceted stones can exceed $400 per carat. 6. Jasper opaque stones Earthy red, brown, yellow, or green. Jasper is heavy and often found in slow-moving sections of rivers, behind stones, or where sand accumulates. Collectors pay $10 to $60 per piece, especially for stones with bands or moss-like inclusions polished by water. 7. Agate-patterned quartz with rings, flames, 
or eye-like formations. Agates are usually found in gravel bars, near bends, or along river edges where water slows because their weight causes them to settle. Collectors pay anywhere from $5 to $100 per specimen, and rare patterns can fetch thousands. 8. Zircon tiny, dense stones, often colorless, champagne or pinkish. Zircons are heavy and sink quickly, often accumulating in river bends, gravel beds, and behind boulders, sometimes mixed with sand or black minerals. Rough river zircons sell for $10 to $80 per carat, and flawless, cut stones can exceed $500 per carat. 9. Citrine citrine is golden quartz, sunlight trapped in crystal form. Found in the same areas as amethyst, it glows warmly under sunlight. Water-worn citrine is rare, and even small natural pebbles can reach $15 to $50 per carat. Larger clean stones, especially natural, not heat-treated, can easily hit $150 per carat in the collector market. 10. Amethyst purple quartz formed through iron and heat. Amethyst travels from volcanic or metamorphic zones into rivers, often ending up in gravel beds or near rocky outcrops. River amethyst can range from $10 to $40 per carat, but deeply saturated stones, royal purple, can command $100 plus per carat once cut and polished. Every river bend is a story written in stone, water, and time. Each ripple carries centuries of movement, currents that have carved paths through rock, shifting sands and sediments layer by layer, polishing what the earth once hid deep underground. Rivers are nature's meticulous sculptors. They separate the ordinary from the extraordinary, tossing aside light pebbles while letting dense, precious gems settle into hidden pockets where the water slows, behind boulders that act as natural vaults, or within crevices where sand drifts like soft velvet over centuries. Here in these quiet sanctuaries, sapphires, garnets, zircons, and amethysts lie in wait, their colors muted underwater, yet ready to burst into brilliance at the slightest sunlight. The next time you walk past a river bend, pause. Do not rush. Look closely. Notice how the currents swirl around rocks, how shadows dance along the riverbed, and how tiny flashes of color betray the presence of gemstones tucked away in the gravel. Peer beneath the surface where centuries of movement have arranged stones by weight, density, and persistence. Every small depression, Every ripple in the sand could hide a gem waiting for discovery. Because what may seem like an ordinary pile of gravel is often a silent fortune, curated by the river itself. Every bend tells a story of time, pressure, and mineral journeys. Every ripple whispers of ancient volcanic eruptions, metamorphic upheavals, and millennia of flowing water. Every stone you pick up could be a piece of Earth's hidden history, a fragment that once lay deep underground and now sits polished in your hand, capable of changing your understanding, or even your life. Sometimes the river does not just carry water. It carries fragments of the Earth's heart, echoes of its past, whispers of its secrets, waiting patiently for someone observant and curious enough to listen. With this knowledge, every river bend transforms before your eyes. What was once a simple curve in water becomes a vault of potential treasures, every ripple a guide to the hidden, and every stone a testament to the patience and persistence of nature. The river is no longer just a flow of water. It is a living map, a silent archivist, and a treasure hunter's greatest ally.